Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a work from home vlog. time to film a video like this a little work from home vlog um, maybe give you some tips um, and just a little insight on how I work from home and how I stay motivated and focused and a few things I've learned all along the way because I've been working from home now for over a year um, so it's normal to me but I know for many of you it's not and it can be quite difficult sometimes to stay motivated um, and not just lay in bed all day in your pyjamas. So I'm going to show you what I do um, most days and I also thought that I would show you a few work from home outfits as well um, because I know that it can get easy to just not make an effort and sometimes that can make you feel a bit low sometimes it doesn't sometimes it can make you feel so much better when you just lounge around in some old skanky pajamas or whatever but sometimes it can have a bit of a negative effect on me so i thought i would put together some work from home outfits to show you guys that you can perhaps recreate from stuff you already own and also some things that are appropriate maybe for zoom meetings or virtual meetings all that sort of thing now before i properly get into the video i want to talk to you about a new product that I have received and for me this is a work from home essential um, this is my new watch here as you can see it on I will do a close-up and everything for you as well so you can see it a little bit better but this is from Nordgreen I always have to have a watch on whenever I'm at home um, I find it so handy I'm literally lost without mine and this is my new one and I'm literally obsessed with it I could not wait to show you this new watch and now is the perfect time because they have a huge sale on a huge Black Friday discount I have a discount code which I'll pop on the screen for you it's Amy B 35 and that will get you a huge saving on the website um, if you fancy anything from there so for any of you that don't know Nord Green are a Scandinavian brand they are very minimalistic which really suits my style down to a T and they have lots of classic designs for both men and women they are also an ethical and sustainable brand which is great it's something that I really really look for when I'm buying new things now especially when I'm buying new jewelry so that is great they're completely carbon neutral all their packaging is also sustainable this is the packaging that my watch came in this gorgeous box make a perfect gift box as well they also have an amazing giving back program where they partner with three NGOs and they help provide education, clean water and help save the rainforest as well. So all brilliant things there to know. All things that are great tick boxes when shopping from brand. So now onto this particular watch that I am wearing. I have been after a silver watch for a very, very long time. And this one is absolutely perfect. It's gonna go with everything that I own. It's chic, it's minimal, it's classic. It's just an all round timeless piece. This particular watch that I've chosen is called the Native Watch. It is the five link one. Um, and the dial, obviously I've got the white one, but it also does come um, with a black dial or with like a dark blue navy dial if that is more your thing but I just prefer the white I feel like it suits me a little bit more this is incredible quality it's really comfortable to wear like I said it's going to go with everything I own so it's a great staple piece for my autumn winter accessories collection I thought that this would be the perfect time to share this with you guys as I mentioned there is a huge Black Friday discount on the Nord Green website 35% off with my code amyb35 and that is running until the 1st of December, the end of the day on the 1st of December, so you've got lots of time to shop it. It's also really important that you do use my code because I believe that my code will get you a bigger saving than what is on the website, so definitely remember to do that. So if you would like to have a look at the website, I will leave all information in the description box along with a link to this exact watch and a reminder of my discount code and all that information as well. Okay, so back to my sort of work from home routine. Um, I will get up at about 6.45. It's a little bit later in the morning now, but I will normally get up at around 6.45, 7 o'clock. I used to find it quite hard to get up that early, um, but now I'm kind of into a routine with it. It's not too bad. I just prefer to do that because then I have a longer morning and I can do things a bit slower rather than rushing around trying to get everything done at the last minute. So the first thing I will do is get dressed. As you can see, I'm just in a plain tracksuit. I've just got my matching joggers on as well at the moment. Um, I just like to get out of my pyjamas straight away because 
it just makes me feel a little bit better it makes me feel a bit less lazy and then the first thing that i'll do is come and sit here at my desk i think it's really nice to have a good workspace i've got my laptop here and i really love this space it's right by the window so i can just look out see what's going on outside not much at the moment it's a really nice light clean tidy space which i think is really important so make sure you set up a little area of your home which is comfortable try not to just lay on your bed on your laptop i'm guilty of doing that sometimes i just think oh i can't be bothered to sit here i'm just gonna lay on my bed and then i do end up falling asleep most of the time so i always try to sit here so the first thing i will do once i'm sat at my desk is have a look at my laptop see what's on the agenda for today um i like to use the calendar setting on my mac um let me show you so this is how it normally looks um i like to look at it in the weekly format and i use this to just block out what i'm going to be doing um so i find it much easier to manage my time that way so i have sort of color coded things as well i don't really know why because it doesn't have that much relevance but i just kind of block out what generally needs to be done today um so like filming taking pictures i'll also block out time for um, working out and getting ready just because i find it more beneficial to do it like that i also look at this in a weekly format as well i find it really really helpful to look at it all in one like that so I know exactly what needs to be done not only today but weekly as well obviously this is not from this week this is from before so I have my main tasks here on my laptop calendar and then I also have this little book my lovely life um, it's a weekly planner uh, I'm not sure where it's from because my mum actually got it for me but then I do tend to use this section in the notepad to make any lists of like smaller things I know have to be done throughout the day so if there's an email that I have to send or a specific phone call that I have to make or if I said to my mum that I'd hoover or clean a certain room um, then I always pop it in here so these are more specific tasks and this is more like block tasking here so I normally add to this list every morning um, and I normally add to my planner sort of like a week ahead I do try to plan my content at least a week in advance if not it's normally two weeks in advance so normally when I come to sit at my desk everything is already planned out for the week every Sunday evening as well I do look over this and add to it if I need to move stuff around just so I know that I'm ready for the week ahead so yeah as soon as I wake up I just like to sit here familiarize myself with what I've got to do today and then I can get on with it so if I'm feeling enthusiastic I will probably do a hit workout in the morning or an ab workout today i'm not feeling enthusiastic i'm feeling quite tired and quite lethargic so i'm just going to literally do a morning stretch it's just a 10 minute video on youtube and it just sort of helps me to wake up a little bit so i'm just going to do that this morning um, and that will be my form of exercise i do try and exercise two to three times a week but I'm just not feeling it this morning so it's not gonna happen so this is the youtube video that i'm gonna use it's just 10 minute morning yoga full body stretch yoga with cassandra 17 million views this has so yeah it's literally just a 10 minute video and it just helps to wake me up a little bit never did i think that i'd be that person that does yoga in the morning but here we are now it's just time for a little bit of light skincare i have noticed such a difference in my skin since i stopped cleansing in the morning i've had one breakout here is it here yeah um about a week ago and then touch wood that's been it for like the last couple of months my skin's been doing really well and i do think it is because i stopped cleansing in the morning it was just such an unnecessary step um, and I really didn't need to do it. So in the morning, I keep my skincare very, very simple now. So I'm just using two products on my skin this morning. I've washed it with warm water, and now I'm just gonna use my Alpha Daily Essential Moisturizer. Um, this is SPF 50, so I always try to use this. Um, and then I'm just gonna use my eye cream, just my Madara eye cream, Wrinkle Resist. Um, and I really like this. I tried to use an eye cream morning and night now as well. Ignore the burn on my hand, by the way. I burnt it with my curlers. It's really, really sore. It's getting a bit better now, but I think it's gonna leave a bit of a mark. Don't mind the mess in the background. We're in the middle of finishing off my shower, um, but it's been paused obviously because of lockdown. So a little bit of mess here in the bathroom. But once I've applied these two products, I am then just gonna pop a little bit of light makeup on my face today and probably do something with my hair. I uh, don't normally do that if I'm just having an admin day, but as I'm filming, I thought I would put some makeup on, be a little bit more presentable. Obviously, you don't have to do your hair and makeup at all, but it does sometimes make me feel a little bit better if I've had like a few days in a row 
of not really wearing any makeup and not really doing my hair, I can start to feel a little bit gross. Sometimes it is a little bit of a pick-me-up for me to make myself look nice. Um, so I'm just gonna do that now, um, and then I'll probably show you my outfits. So this is what I just threw on this morning. It's just a tracksuit um, from Lux to Kill. It's just a white hoodie and joggers and then my um, white company slippers. I've moved my mirror um, because I think this is a nicer place for me to show you a few work from home outfits. I thought that I would just put some together, some stuff that I would wear at home, some stuff that might be appropriate for Zoom meetings or that kind of thing. Yeah, I thought I may as well show you guys what I would normally wear to give you a little bit of inspiration. As I said, I just chucked this on. I probably would lounge around in this um, at home all day. I do try and not wear like joggers and a hoodie every day. I do try and like dress myself up a little bit. So I think I've got five or six work from home outfits that I've put together to hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration. Okay, so here we have the definition of a smart casual outfit so on the bottom as you can see i've got joggers on just these nice plain gray pair these are from pretty little thing and i adore these they're such a great color such a great fit amazing style these are my favorite joggers ever pretty much um, i'm wearing them right now in a size medium um, but i do have them in a size small as well and there's not too much difference i like wearing both to be honest and then up top we are nice and smart so as you can see, I've got on a bodysuit. This is just a plain black halter neck bodysuit from Zara. And then my black blazer over the top. So this is definitely virtual meeting appropriate, this kind of look. So from here, business savvy, from here, very comfy. Um, I've also just got on some plain white Nike socks. I literally live in these when I'm at home. Very cozy, very comfy, and they go really nicely with joggers. So my blazer is also from Zara, but it's old, um, but obviously any blazer, any black blazer will work well. I've kept these tones quite neutral, but any kind of color would work. You could throw on a white blazer, a brown bla blazer, a gray blazer. Um, black joggers, grey joggers, white joggers, anything's going to work if you keep the colours neutral. And this sort of outfit I've actually worn out before, just put on some chunky trainers with it and I find it works really really nice. It's quite a chic look, um, blazer and joggers and very comfortable. This blazer is very comfortable as well because it's oversized. I tend to always really go for an oversized blazer as opposed to a fitted one. Um, just because it's more relaxed, it's easier to wear, and yeah, it's just more comfortable when you're at home sat down. If you know you're going to be on a meeting for a long period of time, you want to be comfortable, hence the joggers and the elastic waistband. You could also remove the blazer and just pop a cardigan over this ensemble, or a hoodie, or a jumper, or anything. It's very versatile, so you can keep the blazer from when you know that people are going to be seeing you on Zoom, and then you can just swap it out for a jumper afterwards and feel a lot more cosy. So this is outfit number one, and I will show you outfit number two now. So another pretty heavily black look now. I've just got on this knitted, oversized roll neck jumper. This is from Lux to Kill, and I adore this. It's so cozy and comfy, nice and oversized, so it's really long as well. It's gonna be so comfortable, easy to wear, keep you nice and warm. You could pop like a vest top or a sports bra or something underneath it if you think you are gonna get a bit warm throughout the day. It's also fairly smart from the waist up. It's just a plain black jumper, really, so you can't go wrong. Then on the bottom, I have got my Zara Ottoman leggings, which I absolutely adore. I've been wearing these so much recently since the weather got cooler. They're just a plain black ribbed legging with a split at the bottom. They also do these from Zara in a beige colour which I don't think would really suit me but if that is your thing um, these are such a comfortable pair of leggings so that is something to look out for and then I've just got my black Ugg slippers on. These are my oldest Ugg slippers so they're looking a little bit tired but obviously they go best with the all black outfit. This is also something that is really easy to wear out as well. You could just chuck a pair of trainers with it or a pair of slip on loafers if you are popping out. You could also tuck the jumper in to give the outfit a little bit more shape. I think it looks a bit better like that actually to be honest. It's less sort of swamping. I'm not actually sure what size I'm wearing in the jumper but I will find out and link it below and I'm wearing a size small in the leggings. They do come up 
up quite small though so I probably could have even got a medium with these but they do fit fine actually they're sort of stretched out after a few wears so I thought I'd leave the black and go for something a little bit lighter and brighter and just a little bit different really um, this kind of thing I love to wear when I'm at home it's a really cozy outfit uh, this jumper is from Zara, it's fairly new, it's this gorgeous cream colour, I got it in a size medium so it'd be a little bit oversized and I've literally worn it so much already since I've got it. Um, I think it comes in some other colours as well so I will definitely be trying to get my hands on some of those. Um, it's just such a handy jumper, it's this gorgeous round neck, really easy to wear, not itchy at all, super comfy, I think it was really affordable as well, I think like 25 or 26 pounds and I've just paired it with this skirt. So this skirt is actually from Primark and I got it a couple of years ago and I've never really worn it but I just thought it looks really comfortable, it looks really cosy, it's got some splits at the side so it's breathable, it's really comfortable, easy to wear and I just thought it looked quite nice with this jumper tucked into it and then to finish off the look I'm wearing my cashmere socks from the white company these are the sort of like nude color um, and I adore these these are an absolute must for working from home they are so comfortable they are just so soft on your feet oh they're just perfect they're also the perfect gift as well for someone well well worth the money and this outfit I just feel so cozy so comfy but also really put together it just makes you feel a bit nicer doesn't it when you've got a nice outfit on don't get me wrong there are days when I just want to lay about in joggers with my hair up looking gross but there are other days where I do want to make a bit more of an effort but I also want to be comfortable and this I think is the perfect outfit to do that in. So I've got another fully cream outfit on, another cream dream. This probably not appropriate for Zoom meetings. This is when you're lounging about at home on your own relaxing. So I've got on this two piece from Zara, these beautiful cream leggings and then a little cream crop top which is essentially a bra so that's why I've popped over this gorgeous thick cardigan. This is from Revolve, I got it last year so I don't think it's available anymore but I literally love this cardigan. It's like a big hug. It's like wearing a dressing gown. I just love it. It's beautiful. It's really heavy though, um, which is all right if you're gonna be sat down all day. But I do have a very similar one from Pretty Little Thing, which I'm about to show you in the next outfit. So I will link that one down below because they're near enough identical. I literally love these leggings. So comfortable, so easy to wear. Um, and then of course, cashmere socks on again. These ones are the cream ones this time. Again, this really makes me feel like I've made an effort. Such a nice two piece, a really gorgeous thick cardigan. Super comfy though. You can lounge around in this. You can have a nap in this. You can sit at your desk for four hours in this and you're gonna be comfy no matter what, which is great. That is the main thing that we're looking for here is comfort, but also to make yourself feel good. So in this Zara set, I got the top and the leggings both in a size small. Um, and they fit really, really nicely. The leggings are super stretchy, which is great. So I've got two outfits left to show you. Um, the next one is very, very similar, so bear with me. So again, we've got another cream beige type outfit here. This is the cardigan I was talking about from Pretty Little Thing. As you can see, very, very similar to the Revolve one. Um, just a little bit lighter and a little bit thinner as well. But this one is still gorgeous. I wear it equally as much um, and it's really affordable as well. So hopefully it's still in stock. Um, if not, I promise I'll find you a very, very similar one. But this is just gorgeous because again, it feels like a dressing gown super long, it's like a maxi one as well. Um, really nice, because it just covers up whatever you're wearing. You can literally have gym kit on under here and it's gonna look nice when you throw over this cardigan. But I have got on this beautiful set. This is from Yesterday Dreamers. So as you can see, it's like this teddy crop top and then the trousers to match. So, so gorgeous, really comfy, really cozy, easy to wear. Bang on trend as well with this teddy material. I've got so many things in this material. This also comes in blue as well if you fancy that. It does come up small. I'm wearing the medium to large, um, but it doesn't feel like a medium to large, so definitely do size up. And then I've just got on my white company slippers. I absolutely adore these. They're just these gorgeous sort of slip-on fluffy slippers. So stunning, so comfortable, really affordable as well. I think they were like £35 or £36, so 
quite a good price for the white company. Um, I've actually ordered myself another pair because I just know how much I'm going to wear them um, and these ones are going to start to look battered soon. So there we have it, another cream fluffy outfit and I have one more to show you. So here we have my final work from home outfit, a nice little bit of active wear. I love my active wear, um, I love to wear it around the house, especially when I'm not working out. I've got on this set from Adenola, these are the midnight blue leggings which I absolutely adore. So comfy, so stretchy, really flattering. Um, and I have these in so many colours. And then have on this little white vest top. Again, the same. Soft, comfy, fits really nicely. I just love their active wear. If you watch my active wear haul, then you will know that. And then I also have this oversized plain white sweater from PLT around my shoulders, just in case I get a little bit chilly and I want to throw something over it during the day. And then of course, my Nike socks as well. So very easy to lounge in, to work in, to work out in, to go on a walk in. Um, so kind of the perfect work from home outfit providing you don't have a Zoom meeting. If you do, you could just literally throw a white shirt or a jumper or something over the top. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But what I'm gonna do now is pick a work from home outfit and then get on with it pretty much. Uh, I'm going to tidy up my room first because it's a bit of a mess and it makes me feel much more productive when I have a tidy room and a tidy space. So um, I'm gonna do that first and then I'll probably sit at my desk for a few hours. So now I have a tidy room. I've got my little setup here, notepad, calendar. I've also got a jug of um, lemon water, which um, I do try and keep my, by my desk now every day. I never used to, but I find it's much easier than um, me going to fill up my drink every hour or however long. And I do try and drink a couple of these a day now because I was hardly drinking any water at all. So I do find that this really helps. All the ice has melted though, so I'm need to go and get some more ice. So I'm now going to sit at my desk and get on with some work for the day. I literally adore this chair as well. You probably noticed it before, but it's from Dan Elm and this is gorgeous teddy material. It's so comfy really lovely to sit on during the day. Really good for my posture as well because it's quite low down. I find that it's a really good height for my desk. Now you may have noticed on my schedules that I do tend to leave quite a long gap for my lunch, not on this day, um, but I have like two hours most days for lunch, which is because I try and get out of the house, go for a walk. I'm normally not just cooking for myself as well. Normally I have to cook lunch for my grandma as well. So that takes up a bit of extra time. So I do like to have quite a long lunch break, um, but then I'll work till about six o'clock. But one thing that I do find helps me stay a little bit more motivated is to have um, a start time and an end time. So I know that I'm gonna finish at six o'clock today, no matter what, which I know can be difficult sometimes if you have deadlines and you have things that have to be done but if you don't definitely try and finish by a certain time because that gives you a point to look forward to um, and a time to switch off it can be quite hard sometimes to switch off when your home is your office so one final little tip that i have for you when working from home is maybe get yourself some blue light glasses these ones i have from key and I adore them. Sorry if the reflection in them is really off-putting. Um, let me take them off for a second. But these are them, just a nice, simple gold frame. And they're really good for someone like me who's literally staring at a computer all day or staring at my phone all day. Um, I do tend to get quite a lot of headaches um, and my screen time is just through the roof. And then I finish work and I sit in front of the TV at night. So I'm never getting away from it. So I find these glasses really do help. I have a few variations, but these ones are my favorite. So it's definitely worth a try because they really do reduce my headaches during the day. So I'm just gonna crack on with my work now. Maybe have some super noodles for my lunch, but I'll just leave you with a little time lapse of me working. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Nord Green website. Um, all information is in the description box and their Black Friday sale lasts until the 1st of December. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all next week with another video.